I'm Jody, and today we're going to talk about what success in volunteer management looks like. We all know the drill. We have board elections, it's an annual term, we spend you know, a good amount of time getting our volunteers up to speed, having them learn the board policies and procedures, letting them understand the strategic you know, direction and goals of the organization, getting their support and getting their buy-in for their fiduciary responsibilities, and then the term is up. So what can we do during that short time that we have with them to get them quickly acclimated, to get them to really understand what they need to do to support the initiatives of the group and keep them on track and being productive for the organization? Let's talk about some tips to help you build productivity with your board members in the short amount of time that you have with them. Get to know them. Get to know their spouse's name. Do they have children? Any hobbies? Do they like sports? Are they crafty and artsy? Are they a movie buff? Kind of build a rapport and get to know what their um, touch points are, the way that you can really build a relationship to help them work for you and be successful for the organization. Find your own management style. You really need to find a way to connect with and be able to direct and drive the, you know, the business of your organization. So some of your board members may be financially strong, some may be strong with writing, some may be great on camera, some may not. Um, but you really need to find a way to build your team. So you, you focus on those strengths and the areas where people can contribute more. You kind of bring it all together like a puzzle and you really build that team so that it can build success for your organization and drive all the areas of support that you really need to foster success. Support your volunteer leaders. So as board members are elected and they come on, they're gonna have a platform and an agenda. Maybe they wanna advance the organization's mission through membership growth. Maybe they wanna write more standards um, and guidelines for the, for the industry. What you need to do is really adopt their platform, help them understand what their agenda is and how it fits into the big picture of the organization. It's important to support them, but at the same time, keep them focused on the mission and the overall vision of the organization. You can do that by building that relationship and fo you know really wrapping in points one and two that we just talked about and you'll find success for the organization. So when all is said and done, let's face it, what matters? Results. Results for our clients, results for our volunteer leaders, we want them to be successful. So discover your management style, get to know your volunteer leaders, and give them the support they need to drive the organization to success. So if you really liked my blog, if you really like my vlog, click here, I gotta start over. Ali's just dancing away. <laughs> so if you really like that, click below and subscribe. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me.